Well, good morning, friends. It's nice to be here today. And I wanted to share with you today the video about the Mexican president that is in his home uh, farm in Palenque, which is called La Chingada. And I hate to call it that, but that's the name of his ranch. Uh, but anyway, so he's out doing a tour so he stopped uh, on his ho in his hometown on the way, uh, but what he's doing is he's going to be heading to Quintana Roo, and on his way over there, uh, he stopped at home, and it's such a beautiful tropical paradise uh, in a place called, um, uh, uh, oh my gosh, I just said it a minute ago. Uh, but anyway, so he's, he's at his farm, and so I'm going to go ahead and translate the video that he did today. I hope you enjoy this. And he's keeping us informed every day, even when he's um, off or away from the palace. Uh, he's really not ever stopping his uh, labor of love, of letting his people know what is going on and what is um, happening, what he's doing, and how he's making sure that they're always taken care of. Okay, so here we go. We'll go ahead and start. Strong one. So he's saying on this uh, rainy day, it is about 2.30 uh, in the afternoon. Oh, there it is. He's in Palenque. That seems a little bit loud. I'm going to lower it a little bit. He says, and I am on tour. So today, it's not in a public tour. But I'm just waiting for Monday. And I am going to be initiating because a phase is ending. Which is the plan that he's going to use in order to uh, deal with the end of the coronavirus. And we're starting a new phase, which we've already made known. So as of Monday, on the 1st of June, and so he says, I'm going uh, via a uh, car or, um, well, road vehicles en route to Cancun at the peninsula of Yucatán. Banderazos en todos los tramos del Tren Maya. And so we are going to be putting up flags or um, opening up the, the railway of the uh, Maya train at every different uh, phase or uh, like the place where you stop at each train station, I guess. A partir de el lunes. And that'll be happening on Monday. Y me vine de México por carretera. And so I came on in Mexico on the roads. Y pasé aquí a Palenque. And so I stopped here at Belenque, Palenque. Y voy mañana and I'm going to be going via roads all the way to Cancun. And as I was saying, it's a rainy evening here. And the way it seems to be here, usually because it's tropical. And he said, I wanted to actually get clearer 
to where all the uh, trees are. Over to the jungle part. But it's not possible. Because it is raining. And from here, I want to let you know that we have good news. A pesar de los pesares, but even with all the bad things that have been happening. A pesar de que se cayó la economía mundial, even though the uh, world economy fell, Hold on now, because uh, that's <laughs> okay. That should be Spanish. Hold on, just a moment. I'm trying to do something here. Okay, despite. So he says, despite the problems with the economy. Por uh, esta pandemia. And uh, due to this uh, pandemic. Y también por su nivel de fragilidad. But also because of its level of fragility, or that it's so fragile. Ya el modelo neoliberal, como lo he dicho en otras eh, ocasiones. Now, the neoliberal model, as I have said on other occasions, está en franca decadencia. Is in frank decadence. Entonces, se cae la economía mundial, nos afecta a nosotros. So, as the world uh, economy drops, it affects us. Afecta a todos los países de, del mundo. It affects all the countries of the world. Pero, eh, a nosotros, afortunadamente, no nos eh, agarró mal parados. But fortunately for us, it did not catch us off guard. No nos, eh, tumbó. It didn't knock us down. Del todo. Not entirely. Y ahí vamos poco a poco. So there we go, little by little. Eh, recuperándonos en lo económico. Recovering in the economic. Les muestro, miren, eh, ya la depreciación del peso. And I'm showing you here, you can see now that the depreciation of our currency, the peso, Según el dato de ayer, related uh, by the data that was collected yesterday, es de 8 .9%. it's 8.9%. Desde que llegamos. So that is 8.9% since we came into office. Es la depreciación del peso. That's the depreciation of the currency peso. Vamos a tener un uso, un peso fortalecido. But now we're going to have a strengthened currency peso. Se apreció el peso hasta... Eh, enero, febrero. So the peso actually became uh, more valuable in the months of, or it appreciated in the months of January and February. Era la moneda que más se había apreciado con relación al dólar. At that time, the peso was the most valuable or fortified currency in relation to the dollar. Pero nos pegó, eh, la crisis. But we were hit by that crisis. Económica, y se nos cayó el peso, pero by that economic crisis and the peso's value fell. Ya vamos, eh, but now we are starting to recover. Poco, eh, a poco. Little by little. Llegó a eh, costar un dólar más de 25 pesos. At one point, a dollar cost 
more than 25 pesos. Y el viernes ya estaba eh, a 22. And on Friday, it was already at 22. Pesos 20 centavos por... 22 pesos with 20 cents. Por dólar. Per dollar. De modo que se está apreciando nuestra moneda. So that is to say that our currency is becoming more valuable. It's appreciating. Lo mismo, eh, esto es lo que les comentaba del... Del, del dólar. And so, also, this is what I was commenting on regarding the dollar. Eh, ya, el viernes 28. So on Friday the 28th. 18, pero me voy a estar acá. So you can see it's come up to here. Uh, 25, un poco más, 25 pesos por dólar. It was at one point. 25 pesos per dollar. And we were doing very well, but when the crisis started, it shot up. And the um, peso depreciated. So our currency depreciated in terms of the exchange rate. Este, no nos fue favorable. It was not favorable for us eh, este ¿No? during this period. Mismo el caso de, de precio del petróleo. Also, this happened in the case of petroleum. Miren cómo se cayó a menos cero. And you can see here that it fell below zero. Ya, el último precio. And here is the last price. Eh, del 29 de mayo. On the 29th of May. Ya el barril de petróleo, 28 dólares con 91 centavos. Now the price of the petroleum is 28 dollars with, I think he said 21 cents. Casi eh, 30 dólares por barril. Nearly 30 dollars per barrel. En un mes. That happened in one month. De menos cero a 30 dólares por barril. From minus zero to 30 dollars per barrel. Es un incremento histórico. That's a historical increment. En este caso. In this case. Nunca se había presentado. It had never presented itself before. Y otro dato que es muy alentador. And then there's another piece of data that is very, um, let me think of the proper alentador. It means that it makes you happy, encouraging. Yeah, alentador. Yep, encouraging. Another data that is very encouraging. Es el de la recaudación. It's regarding the recovery of taxes. Eh, a pesar de la crisis, Because even despite the crisis, eh, tenemos más de 100 mil millones de pesos. We have more than 100,000 million pesos. De recaudación. Of recovery. De aumento en la recaudación. That is to say, an increase in the recovery. Con relación al mismo periodo. In relation to the same period. De enero mayo. From January to May. Del año pasado. Of the previous year. De enero a, a mayo del año pasado. So from January to May, the previous year. La recaudación fue un billón seiscientos setenta y tres mil millones. It was one billion six hundred and seventy three thousand million. Y de enero a mayo. And from January to May. Hasta ayer. That is until yesterday. Eh, un millón 
un billón 777 mil. One billion seven hundred and sixty thousand. Billion. Million. 2.8 en términos reales, de incremento. So it's a 2.8 increase in real terms. A pesar de la crisis. Despite the crisis. ¿Por qué? And why? Este, no se nos ha caído afortunadamente la recaudación. So why is it that fortunately our recovery hasn't fallen? Porque se están cobrando deudas. Because we are collecting on debts. Eh, eh, tenían algunas empresas por, that certain companies had corporativos and corporations. Y eh, esto nos ha permitido tener eh, ingresos para fortalecer la hacienda pública. And this has allowed us to have the funds in order to increase the public uh, uh, funds. Ya es público que Walmart It is now public that Walmart eh, aceptó pagar, incluso ya lo hizo. Accepted paying. In fact, it already paid. 8,079 millones de pesos. 8,079 million pesos. Walmart. Y eh, ayer, and also yesterday, FEMSA dio a conocer, EMSA, let it be known, que reconocía una deuda, that they recognized a debt, con la hacienda pública, with the uh, treasury department, de 8.790 of 8,700 million pesos. pesos. También ya IBM and also IBM de México, in Mexico eh, se puso al corriente, paid their taxes up to its current debt con 669 millones de pesos with 679 million pesos. Todo esto eh, nos está apoyando. Yo quiero... And all of these things are being very supportive for us. And I want to... Eh, agradecer mucho a los directivos, a los dueños. And I want to say how much I appreciate these directors, these owners. De estas corporaciones of these corporations Por, eh, eh, la convocatoria. because they accepted the, uh, let's see what the best word is for convocatoria, let's see, it means the announcement. De que todos actuemos de conformidad that we all behave in conformity la ley, with the law que se haga valer el estado de derecho, and that they make sure and follow the sta a state of being in a correct way. Que no haya privilegios, that there not be privileges. Que si la gente humilde, that if the humble people un indígena, un campesino, para someone that's indigenous, someone that's a field worker, para impuesto, pays taxes, porque en cualquier mercancía va incluido un impuesto, because in any merchandise that you buy, the taxes are included, como el IVA, y si esto mismo hace un obrero, and so this is like the sales tax, and if a field worker can do this. Y un profesional, y un pequeño, un mediano, un and if a small professional or small business owner, owner Mario, ¿por qué no? Las grandes, eh, 
then why not the large corporations? Y esto, afortunadamente, se ha ido entendiendo. And fortunately, they have been understanding this. Es un comportamiento ejemplar. Está and it is a behavior that is exemplary. Están demostrando que tienen dimensión social. And they are demonstrating that they have a social dimension. En el caso de Walmart. And in the case of Walmart. Dio gusto porque cuando anunciaron. It made me very happy because when they announced. Son empresas que cotizan en la bolsa. And these are uh, companies that are affected by the, um, uh, I guess, interest rate. Tienen que informar cuando anunciaron que iban a reconocer este adeudo. And so when they recognized that they were going to uh, uh, recognize this debt, como que hubo un poco de desconcierto, people seem to be a bit disconcerted. Se cayeron de las acciones, pero... And so then the interest rates dropped. De inmediato, se recuperaron. But immediately, they recovered. Y eh, se vendieron mejor. And then they sold even better. Sus acciones. Creo que lo mismo... That is to say, the, um, oh, what do you call them? Uh, the stocks actually went up afterwards. Va a suceder con FEMSA. And I believe this is also going to happen with FEMSA. Eh, agradecerles, repito, a sus directivos, a sus dueños. And I want to repeat it, how grateful we are to its directors, its owners. Por esta actitud. Because of this attitude. Responsable. Which is responsible. Tenemos que sacar adelante a México. Because we have to make Mexico go or get ahead. Y tiene que ser un esfuerzo de todas, de todos. And it has to be an effort that is done by one and all. De ricos y de pobres of rich and poor, Todos juntos. all together, Sacar adelante a nuestro querido México. we all need to get together and put Mexico ahead, our beloved Mexico. Mañana vamos a seguir informando and tomorrow we will continue to inform you sobre la pandemia, pero hoy quería regarding the pandemic, but today Quiero darles esta, estas buenas uh, noticias. But today, I wanted to share with you these very good news. Hay recuperación. That there is recovery. En la economía. In our economy. Eh, lo vamos a hacer pronto. And we're going to do it quickly. El modelo que estamos aplicando nos está dando resultados. This model, which we are applying, is giving us good results. Y es el beneficio de todo el pueblo. And it is the benefit of all the people. Desde Palenque. From Palenque. Eh, un abrazo. A warm hug. Virtual. That is a virtual hug. Eso sí, muy cariñoso. But yes, it is very endearing. Para todas y todos. For, for every one of you. Okay, so anyway, that's where uh, it ended. But I hope uh, you enjoyed it. And I always seem to enjoy his Saturday videos the most because they seem so human and, um, I don't know, it just lets you know that he is such a dear person and loves his people. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day.